What's going on? Carter here. Quick look for you on a new knife that I received today. Just so excited. Had to shoot a quick video before I take off to my kid's soccer game. That's why I'm doing this on a uh, cell phone and why it's not going to have a pretty thumbnail and all that stuff. But I just wanted to show this off because uh, I've actually already looked at this uh, a little bit. But it is a Boker Plus. It is the Bullseye. Here is a tool that it comes with, which is always awesome. Um, <clears throat> but what's really impressive about this knife is everything so far. Uh, this is amazing, guys. Uh, truly, truly amazing. This is basically a production version of his frame lock bullseye. I used to own a liner lock bullseye, a real one, that had titanium bolsters and uh, scales on it, silver twill scales, uh, with this same exact grind that's on here. But it was not the frame lock version. Now, what is there's a couple of things that is so impressive with this. One is that this is so close to the real thing that it's scary. If you look up photographs, um, that's right, I said photographs, not photos. Uh, if you look up photos of this knife, the real one, it's hard to distinguish. Um, it's pretty much exactly like this. The only difference is the pocket clip. Uh, Sal uses some magic voodoo where he has his pocket clip kind of go inside the scale and you can't tell how it's attached and it doesn't go all the way through. I don't know how he does it, but it doesn't have these normal screws here. But other than that, it looks exactly like this. This even has, I guess, pseudo hand rubbed marks on the blade you can see there. It looks like it's hand rubbed. It's amazing. It's crazy. So it has a compound grind here. So flat ground right here, or I'm sorry, hollow ground right here, flat ground up here at the tip. It has Sal's arrow. You can see the arrow right here um, with these other grinds on the blade. Full titanium handle, guys. Full titanium handle, titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer with the replicated hand stippling or... Uh, What's it called? Not stippling, but, uh, oh, the word escapes me, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, the checkering that's done there. All of the textures the same. It is super early lockup, smooth as butter. Seems to have, um, it looks like Nylatron washers. I'm not totally sure, but something like that. Lock, uh, lockup is rock solid. This is an amazing knife for like $130. And it's $130 because it is made in China. That's the only downfall. Um, just a minute, bud. But uh, it is just something else. So if you can get past the China part, this is an insane knife. It's even got the uh, knurling or, or the uh, checkering around the thumb disc like Sal does, and having owned a real custom Salmonero, uh, this is kind of freaky. Kind of freaky. This is just bizarre to see. I mean, usually when they do collaborations, production versions, it's kind of more of a inspired by the custom design type deal. This is literally a production version of his custom knife, and it is almost exactly the same. The quality is insane. Great uh, detent, super smooth. I, I really, I can't, I can't get over this knife. It uh, kind of blows my mind. All right, guys, that's it. I'll be doing a full review after I carry it for a little bit and use it and uh, get some time to uh, get my thoughts together. Sorry about my screaming kid. He's excited about his soccer game. So uh, I'm out of here. You guys take it easy. Catch you later.